Hi guys, I was planning on uploading a different video today. I don't think I'll have the time to do it, um, but maybe I will upload two videos today, who knows. It's probably going to take too long to do though. Um, but, you know, this came up today on Twitter. So at the top you have this, um, you have the home option, uh, notifications, messages. Well, they also have an option now, um, for moments and basically this option gives you headlines of different things that are going on within the world and social media so the newest um well not the newest but it's it's up there <laughs> so one of the headlines says pope christians owe apology to gays and marginalized groups so i saw this and i kind of freaked out um, I believe in God, but I don't really, um, identify myself with a religion. I used to be Catholic, but then I kind of opened my eyes to how corrupt the religion was. And then this Pope came along, and let me tell you, I do not like this Pope at all. I do not trust him. Um, I don't even think there should be a need for a pope. It never, it doesn't say in the Bible there, there's a pope, yet we have one. So I guess I'm more of a by the Bible kind of person. And to a certain extent, of course, I don't think um, everything in there is something that I would do, you know. But you, you need to read deeper into what is being said when you're reading the Bible, not necessarily the surface thing, because if if Christians read it to the surface level, I think we would be out killing people, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's not me. Um, so, I'm gonna say something pretty bizarre, um, kind of conspiratorial. Um, I think the Pope is the Antichrist. Alright, this current Pope is the Antichrist. Okay, so... I have never actually gotten that far in the Bible because I was scared out of my mind when I heard about revelations as a kid I as a kid me and my mom would watch a lot of um like history channel stuff they have tons of really like deep down conspiratorial shows and one of them was about the end of the Bible the book of revelations I Probably couldn't sleep after watching it. I know it was just probably like an hour, but it really, it scares me. I don't like it at all. Um, and from what I know about the Antichrist, to my knowledge, I really think he fits the description. All popes, really, I don't, as I said, I don't think they're necessary, and I think it's wrong for Catholicism, because the popes, um, they have the power... Um, you know, they have this power because they are supposed to be a representation of God on earth. So we look up to the Pope as Catholics. Um, personally, not me, as you can tell. But whenever the Pope says something, we take it as true. We eat into it. And I don't know if you guys were aware of it, but Pope Francis basically said something like, aliens are real. And then he fixed his statement and said, I mean, if aliens were real and they came here, I'm sure God would accept them. No, that is not how it works. We are not even supposed to believe in aliens. Um, we are not, we are, okay, in the Bible, we are obviously created by God and we're supposed to be a special group of people. There is no one else because then it would be like, well, what is our existence? If there was another group of people, then we must not be that special. Um, so, for him to say that there's aliens when we're not supposed to believe that aliens are real, well, it just kind of makes you think, why? And I know he said other stuff, that's the only thing I can really think of, but, back to what the Twitter headline says, and I wrote a response to this on another website with a bunch of, like, social justice warriors who, who knows if they'll see this, they might, but... Well, they're very social justice-y, at least liberal, in a sense. Um, anyhow, this Twitter moments thing says, While returning from a visit in Armenia, 
Pope Francis said Sunday that gays deserve an apology from Christians for marginalized treatment. He extended the comment to include women, children, and the poor who have been exploited by the Catholic Church. So I wrote a response to this on the, another website, as I said, and I will be reading that off to you guys. Okay. First of all, I've said this before. I don't think it's right for anyone who believes in God or the Bible to be like you, gay people, because it clearly says in there that um, God and Jesus loves everyone. So for them to be like um, that, for them to be like that, you know, saying you gay people, it's really hypocritical. But again, apologizing for it, maybe if you know someone, but to just like say, hey, I'm sorry, our religion is so shitty, we must apologize to you. No, Pope, tell that to actual hateful people. Him basically saying all Christians should apologize is saying that all Christians as a whole are, mar are treating um, people um, of different groups as marginalized. No, he, he can't possibly think all Christians hate gays. And, okay, a lot of people like to bring it up. It never says anywhere in the Bible that gay people are bad. Um, well, it does actually say this in the Bible. It doesn't say that they're, um, it doesn't say we're supposed to hate them. I'm sure back, way back when, yeah, of course they didn't like them because they were following what it said. And, I mean, it was probably much rarer back then. You know, gay people aren't just something new. Um, it's, there's a story in there about, um, Sodom and Gomorrah. These are cities, and that's where the word sodomy comes from. And if you don't know what sodomy is, it's basically when you don't have sex missionary position, <laughs> basically. So, anyone who is gay can possibly have sex missionary position because, well, I, I think it's pretty obvious why you can't. <laughs> um, so that's one example. And um, in Corinthians, it specifically says um, people, it, it, it lists a bunch of people who aren't going to heaven, and one of them is men who lie with men. And that's not to say, you know, when when people say also, oh, your thoughts and prayers are worthless since you think we're going to hell. No. Again, it's pretty cliche, but, you know, we're not supposed to love the sin. We are supposed to love the sinner. And again, that's why I say we can't be hypocritical and say, ew, gay people, because in our Bible it also says to love everyone. And then you're going to say, um, the Bible is hypocritical. In a sense, yes, but you have to choose what you believe in. I am accepting of gay people. It's kind of a shame that, um, you know, that they aren't really accepted in some communities. I do sympathize with them. But at the same time, I'm not going to uh, be like, ah, I hate my God because he says this about them. I'm not going to turn my back on my religion because my religion says something that isn't generally too good. What religion actually says something good the whole time? All religions have something bad to them, and you have to ask yourself, what are my values? What are my morals? What do I believe in? Do I think all gays are going to hell? I don't know, because I'm not dead. I don't know if heaven and hell are real. I believe they are real, and I believe God has a plan for all of us. And whether he puts a gay person in heaven or hell, that is his choice. We don't know. Um, but, yeah, again, he can't possibly think all Christians hate gays, because as someone who believes in the Bible, so I guess I'll just call myself a Christian for this, um, you know... I guess as a Christian, I don't hate gays. I know many Christians who don't hate gays. I know gay Christians. That's a thing. So, I mean, you can't say that 
we we all hate gays because when he says that Christians have to apologize, he's talking about us as a whole. And if it isn't bad already that you know being being Christian is kind of looked bad at, looked it's looked down upon now, and you can't even say no, it's not because it is. It really is by people who don't believe in our religion. Okay, it it's looked down upon. You you can't really deny it. But anyhow, to say um, that all of us hate them and that we need to apologize, well, that's going to make us look even worse. And so that wasn't really so much my problem, because I guess, you know, as I said, you can't agree with everything that um, the Bible says, right? Not, not necessarily. You have to, you sort of have to pick and choose sometimes, but... I mean, for me, I I generally believe what it says. I just know when to keep my mouth shut when talking to people. I know who I can discuss this kind of thing with. Um, It is kind of complicated. But that wasn't my real problem with this. My problem was that the Pope is saying this about us. But has he not read the Bible for him to be saying that? As I said, it, it, it specifically says in Corinthians... Men who lie with men are not going into God's kingdom. So where are they going? We we don't know again. I don't know. Maybe maybe he will let them in. There are good people who are gay, obviously. <laughs> it's just what they're doing is not how God intended life to be. If you think it's crazy for people who believe in God to think that way, you have to wonder about other religions too. And I'll bring this up later. Um, but yeah, has he not read the Bible for him to be saying that? He's literally telling us to be sorry for believing in what the God that he's supposed to be representing on earth tells us. What does that even make sense? So, this is partially why I don't like Catholicism, because the Pope can just change whatever rule he wants and we're expected to agree with him. Again, with the aliens are real thing, we're not even supposed to think they're real. How can he even say, if they come here, God will accept them? No, we're not even supposed to think they're real. For you to even hypothesize that they're real, well, does that doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, he represents God on earth. That's his role in the church. So he's saying... Well, we can't marginalize gays even though our Bible tells us that they aren't going to God's kingdom. We aren't marginalizing them. If you want to say our Bible isn't accepting of them, and then that has to raise the question, why do we even believe in this? That's what happens. Now people are going to think, wow, am I even supposed to be in this religion? Right? That's what happens. People start questioning. And... As of the Pope, are you really supposed to be doing that? I understand if you want to reform something, but, you know, Christians aren't hateful people most of the time. I mean, of course, there's extremists in every group. But, I mean, obviously, who I'm surrounded with, they're fairly accepting. You know, there's obviously instances where, like, they're offensive. And I don't even think it has anything to do with our religion. It's just that they're being offensive. But to say that we're supposed to be sorry for believing in what the Bible tells us, well, what's your point? Um, so, I'll continue. Next, so he also says, um, you know, we're supposed to apologize to women and the poor. This is beyond me because um, Christian Christianity, you know, it was a persecuted religion at its start. Just like the Jews were, but I mean, the Jews have been persecuted since forever. They're still persecuted. But Christianity started off as a persecuted religion as well. Um, I think because they also sort of associated with the Jews. And, you know, Christ was, he was um, sort of becoming influential. And, you know, people didn't like that in Rome. They wanted, um, they wanted their ruler to be... They wanted their ruler to be on top. That was their god. And they said, well, if you can't believe in multiple gods, well, then we're going to have to get you out of here because you're going to influence people, and that is going to mess up my power. 
So they were persecuted. And back then, women and the poor weren't treated so fairly in Rome, in the Roman Empire, you know? So many women and the poor were attracted to Christianity because it was a place they could be accepted in. Because, hey, they were not treated fairly, the Christians were not treated fairly, let's bring them together. That's how that's how things work, right? You know, you have one loner and you have another loner and they sort of get together because, hey, I don't really have friends, you, you don't really have friends, I, I guess we can be friends together. That's sort of how it works, you know, in a basic sense. Um, so it's it's crazy to me for him to say that we are marginalizing women and the poor. There are poor Christians. There are there are obviously women that are Christians. So how are we marginalizing them? We accept them, and 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 he's the Pope, right? So in Catholicism, even though we're not supposed to do this either, because it doesn't say it in the Bible, we um we also in a sense pray to um the Virgin Mary right we we pray to her and i it, i've always thought why i mean she's not our god she has nothing to do with him she just gave birth to him right that that's all that's my opinion on it but we pray to her and i i think why so so he's saying we marginalize women yet we pray to a woman in catholicism where he's the head of he's the head of the roman church the Roman Catholic Church. He's the head of that. So obviously he prays to her. So then, how are we marginalizing women? We treat them as equally as men. And again, that's up to that's up to subjectivity of how you treat women and men. If a person treats women and the poor wrong, and then you say Catholic, uh, Christians should apologize for marginalizing them. How does that make Christians look? Now we look like we're sexist assholes, and we look like we don't treat the poor fairly. Has he not read the Good Samaritan? Has he not read that stuff? Has he, have we not read that stuff? Have we not taken moral lessons from it? I get it that there's people who are, um, only you know they identify with the religion because that's what they've been growing up with and they generally believe it because you know hey i i have some of these morals and you know i think god is real because blah 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 reason you know and then there's other people who are like yeah i wasn't really connected to my religion so i don't really believe in him for blah 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 reason right so the ones who do believe in him for whatever reason even though they don't really you know read the bible or go to church um it's more of a oh yeah, I'm Christian, oh yeah, I'm Protestant, blah, 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 you know, you take, you're, they could possibly not like poor women, poor people and women, but at the same time, are you saying that's, are you saying that's all of us? That's just someone who doesn't believe in it. They just don't believe that women are equal or that they, they, or they treat the poor unfairly that's someone's choice it has nothing to do with religion and we have not marginalized them especially women and the poor like for him to say we marginalize women and the poor i don't understand that at all i can understand gays but again that's a matter of what do you want us to think about our own religion do you want us to question our bible and that leads me to think this is another ploy of the antichrist because Trust me, I really do think he is the Antichrist, and there's just too much to show. Are we supposed to believe in our religion, or are we not? That's my question to him, because he's sure as hell making it confusing. And um, he also says um, he also says stuff about children, right? That one completely makes sense. The only people who should be apologizing to children. Are the child molesting priests and the people who sympathize with those priests? I'm not kidding you. I've met a kid who thinks that the children are lying about the priests molesting them. Sure, there could be someone out there who did lie about it. But even the priests have admitted to doing it. And really to lie about that as a child, I don't, 
that's that's amazing i i did not even think i would ever meet someone who actually sympathized with the priest saying they were lying and they were doing it to make our religion look bad no all religions have something bad to them there will always be something to make any religion look bad why would you blame it on kids those are the people who should apologize that one at least makes some sort of sense i understand right now they are trying to um reform the catholic church in that sense um and that is something i'm glad about because that's another reason why i don't um agree with catholicism because because of that their corruption um and lastly he says apologize to anyone who's been exploited well then he owes pretty much everyone who believes in god a big apology for a pope who has been changing everything he sure hasn't changed anything about donating to the church and of course this is why because they are corrupt and they want to stay in power all right that is why he hasn't changed anything <laughs> as long as you're catholic you can buy your way to heaven do not worry you are guaranteed a spot just as long as you pay off your sins and it's really funny to me because i was so big on religion when i was a kid you know i was like ah i feel so great to be catholic but what i really meant was that i was so happy to believe in god i don't think it had anything to do with being catholic i just thought i just thought you know if you believed in god you were either catholic or christian i didn't know there was tons of other sects to it <laughs> um now if i if someone asked me i would probably say i'm protestant but that's only because of what i know historically i just think Oh, Martin Luther, uh, 95 thesis, right? <laughs> that's that's what I think about. Um well then, on this website, someone um someone replied to me and said, "The fact that someone like Pope Francis even said something like that should be considered boss." No. Okay, people look at him uh, as she said, like he's a world leader known all across the globe, and he just publicly declared that being gay isn't bad and that women and the poor should be treated with more respect. Well, it's deeper than that. Sure, he's a world leader. He's been pretty involved in politics. And again, why why is the Pope involved in this? It, it freaks me out. Again, the Pope has a lot of power over um, Catholics. And he also has been pretty politically open, you know, going with this whole social justice movement, you know? Because I also just read that he opened the Vatican up um, for Muslims to pray. What even? Why? Why would you have a different religion praying inside a church uh, for your religion? I understand being tolerant right but that that's taking it a bit too far right don't you think um so he has all this power and for him to be saying um um publicly declaring that being gay isn't bad that wasn't the problem at all anyone can say that as a world leader um and i think uh, most people are going to agree with that but for him to say it knowing in fact that our bible says it is wrong basically, um, then, uh, again, it just raises the question, what is right and what is wrong? Do we believe in our Bible, or do we believe in what you say, Pope? Or do we just pretend like it's not even in there? Do we just read read ahead, not read any part that says anything bad about gay people? And you have to, you have to understand why um, people who read the Bible extensively and, and believe in it why they don't believe being gay is right because again you have to go all the way back to the beginning it god specifically made adam for eve right it wasn't it wasn't any other way and i know that's an old thing like oh blah 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 no adam and steve no i mean that's not how it is again it, it's so that you have um children that's that was the goal basically and it's it's what God made. It wasn't he didn't make two guys, he didn't make two girls, right? He didn't make that for each other. But again, God is accepting. If God was a horrible person, do you not think we would and like do you not think that we would 
take into consideration that, right? And not believe in it at all. And, and even, or if even we think that God is wonderful, but the stuff in the Bible, we have to take it literally. And we say, hmm, okay, anyone who's gay, we have to go out and kill them. No, you don't see that happening, right? And even in the wake of the Orlando thing, people won't say anything about the guy pledging allegiance to ISIS, right? No one will say that because Islamophobia. No, this is the same thing. What if, what if the Pope said Muslims apologize to women and gays? No, the world would be freaking out. They would be saying the Pope was hateful. They would be saying the Pope is being Islamophobic. They would be saying the Pope is inciting hatred towards another religion. That is what they would say if the Pope said this about Muslims. But because he says it about his own religion, then it's A-okay. It's A-okay because Christians are horrible. Right? So, no. If we put this in another context... It's wrong, but put it for Christians, it's okay. And then that makes you think, well, what is this Pope up to? Something happened in Orlando, like, literally weeks ago, and he's saying Christians apologize to gays. <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's just avoid the Muslim thing because that didn't happen. No, say people who don't like gays apologize to them. People who actually marginalize them, people who actually marginalize women, people who actually marginalize the poor, apologize to them. Right? That's who she should be talking to. Actual hateful people. And he isn't. He's saying Christians. I'm sure there are hateful Christians. Just like I'm sure not all Muslims are hateful of gay people. So, it shouldn't be a specific religion at all. But if he was going to say anything then why is he saying it about us, his own religion? You have to wonder. I get the children part, but the other stuff, no. We we haven't done anything right now that would even call to the case for for him to be saying that. Um, and again, with this, the little um, reply I got, some the person said, he could have more easily not said anything or publicly condemn the LGBTQ community. Well, first of all, again, as I said, he's a social justice warrior, basically. And that is not why I think he's the Antichrist. Um, but he's like the social justice warrior. He's not going to say anything wrong about the LGBTQ community. Um, I don't think they're bad people. Again, as I said earlier. But I also think he should consider... The fact what, of what his Bible says. Has he not read it? Has he read the revised social justice version? The acceptable version? What, what version of the Bible is he reading? That he has um, the audacity to say that all Christians are hateful, but also say we're supposed to apologize to gays, even though God probably won't. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean or anything or or funny. I'm I'm just saying. Do you expect God to apologize to pedophiles too? That's what, <laughs> I'm not saying gay people are <laughs> pedophiles, but if it specifically says being gay is wrong in there, and obviously being a pedophile is wrong, and what what other weird things in there that are wrong? You know, cutting your hair is a sin too. We don't really pay attention to that. Should he be saying, um, should he be saying, you guys need to apologize to all people who cut hair and who cut their hair? No, because we all do it. And now, I think pretty much everyone knows someone who is gay. So they sort of, you know, if they don't, um, if they don't think that it's the right thing to do, they will be more tolerant and accepting. Um, and then there's other people who are just like, yeah, you know, you're gay, it's okay, I don't care. Or people are like, yeah, I'm gay, and I believe in God. Um, so it's a matter of your your morals and how far you are willing to believe in the Bible. Um, so that's what, what comes to question. It's not anything to do with... Um, I. It's not anything to do with um, being a bad 
Christian or anything like that, or saying that all Christians are like this, right? It's about your own morals and your own religious values and how far you want to um, take what the Bible says. That's that's what it comes to, down to. It's not what this Pope is saying. So if you thought about, if you thought about what the Pope said, because you know you're supposed to believe in him. Do not worry if you um, don't even agree with him on this. That is perfectly fine because I do not either. And um, if any of you want any clarification of what I think, because I kind of just did this on a whim and I, I was trying to save what I like. I thought I was saying a lot of bad things or, you know, I was kind of trying to be conscientious of what I was saying. Um, but if you need any clarification from me, and to, please do not try to preach to me anything about, um, oh my gosh, you believe in God? That's so weird. Don't believe in him. Please don't try to preach to me anything like that because I have already solidified my belief and nothing anyone tells me can change that. Um, but if you need any clarification for anything um, or a specific Bible verse or anything like that to solidify what I'm saying, then please go ahead and ask in the comments. I would like a lot of conversation about this. Thanks for sticking it out with me. <laughs> I thought this was going to be seven minutes long, and it, it, it turns into 30. I over-talk about everything. Uh, the next video will be out very soon. Thanks for, you know, checking me out, and bye!